Hello YouTube friends, welcome to Maria Smosalami where um, in this video I'm sharing with you once again what's on my craft table and I decided to go ahead and just turn on the camera as I sit down. Now to be 100% transparent, I just removed a big stack of stuff from this and put it behind me on my dining room table. That's just stuff I need to put away <laughs> uh, from that I pulled out. Uh, to do other stuff, but um, included in that is also the little few things I picked up at Dollar Tree. Um, I need to put those away in my little bins, like the stickers and things. But the, what's here is what's left over from when I finished this little magazine journal, which I totally am loving. Excuse me, I'm gonna finish my coffee. And um, so I wanted to show you the other little one that kind of was born out of that. And um, all I did since you last saw me was round the corners on all of the pages. And wow, I really think that that makes such a huge difference. I'm glad I spent the money to buy my little crop -a dial I used my 50% off coupon to buy this because the, the one corner rounder that I had for you know a while I could not find. Hopefully I'll still find it because I did like that one. But... Um, this is working out great, although for some reason the half inch doesn't always uh, work great. Let me show you with this uh, kind of paper if it does that. So sometimes, let's see. Yeah, see, sometimes it doesn't, so I don't know if it's not sharp, and I've already removed the packaging and everything. I don't know if they'll exchange it for me, so I'm kind of just dealing with it. It seems to work okay if I have like a thicker paper. Like, let's see this. Again, these are just scraps on my desk, so that's why I'm just trying this. So when I have a thicker paper, it seems to work okay. But when I just have, like, one sheet, it doesn't. So I guess it's not too bad. Oh, check it out. That's pretty cool. <laughs> All right, so, so this mess is what's on my desk after making these little blue books. So what I want to do is kind of share with you how I clean, okay, my desk. Now, um... You might think, oh, well, that's boring. I'm going to turn off the video right now. But hang with me for a second because um, maybe I'll give you some ideas. Okay, so this is, I literally, after tearing papers to cover all my words here, you know, I just dropped them on my desk. <laughs> yeah, not the neatest. Um, but what I'm going to do is whatever is left here from, uh, oh, look, check this out. We just got a T-Mobile something, and I, my husband goes, do you want to keep this packaging? And I said, yeah, because check it out. It's got this little pull tab, and when you pull it, it opens up on both sides. And I'm thinking, oh, I can definitely do something with that. That is so cool. I need to figure out how this works so that maybe, you know, we can make some little tags or ephemera out of this. Isn't that cool? I'm, like, having too much, <laughs> too much fun with this. So anyway, um, yeah, that's in the future. So uh, come back to my channel if you want to see what I do with that. All right, but so these little strips of paper that are left over, oops, that glue stick, let me throw that out. Um, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start covering the, you know, the wording on this little tiny journal. And I think I am going to use this for ATCs. We'll see how that works. We'll put these aside a second. And... Um, yeah, so I showed you I had this little scrap bin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose what of this stuff is going to go in here and what is just going to get thrown out and what have you. So let me grab my glue stick, make sure this is one that works. Yep. Okay, and let's start going through these. Now, see some of these little bits like this, you might think, oh, trash, but because that's kind of like a plain, you know, no, nothing on there, uh, that actually might be a good one. So. Uh, let's see let me just flip through here so see here I could use a strip strip to cover this so something like this I think this was somebody's hair I don't know or something like this now this has words there so I'm gonna get throw that little teeny weeny piece out <gasps> what you're throwing something out yeah I mean <laughs> it's ridiculous you know sometimes okay see this piece right here so I'm basically looking for a strip that's long enough to cover that those little words okay that has words here so maybe we'll use a couple okay so here's the strip 
which it looks like I cut something out of, out of that. I'm just going to use that little strip to cover these letters, and then I'll use another strip there, okay? And for something like this, I usually just do this, or maybe I could have done this. There we go. And cover up those letters. And that's that. And then there's this little bit. And maybe we can grab that other one. Like that. And that's what I do with the little bits that are left on my table. I mean, yes, some stuff does get thrown away, guys. <laughs> but before I do that, I try to just grab the little bits that I can use. Even though at first glance they might seem like trash. And um, use them. And then I just throw out the rest because I think I have really made good use out of this magazine, um, you know, so far. It has produced some fun crafting and um, materials for me. So whatever's left, I can, in good, uh, what do you call it? I can throw out without feeling guilty. <laughs> ah, so there you go. See? Just little scrap bits. And look at that. When you put them down, I just think that's really cool. It adds some element to it, you know? And then when I decide what to put as a focal point in the cover, I'll do that. But in the meantime, I'm just covering up distractions such as this. So that's just words. Um, let's see. I have this. It's got a little bit there. Oh, look at that. This side has just plain skies, and it's, and it's straight at the top. Let's see if I can cover the words. Nope, there's words all the way at the top, so I'm just going to do that. I'm going to edge this a little bit more. And we're going to put something else there to finish off the words. See, I know I want to cover all the words, so I'm just going to put the glue stick on the words. And... That's what I do with the little trash on my table. <laughs> now, if I hadn't been working on these little books, um, what I would do is just grab some of these things and, um, you know, glue little images like this that I think can be good elements in my glue book, you know? See? And then I can even rip further. So I want to cover this here, and there's a little bit of words there. And that's that. So, I don't know. I hope that's helpful. I mean, do you think it's crazy? Or do you guys do this too? <laughs> you know, um, keep little tiny bits and add them to you. I mean, I know some of you do because obviously um, this is not my bright idea alone. I mean, I've seen people using, check that out, uh, little bits of paper and stuff. Um, I'm just sharing how these little bits were just left over from... The last project I did, and I'm trying to use them up before just throwing the rest out. So, there you go. Yeah, and this is exactly what I did with the bigger one, only to a bigger scale. There's some words there. Let's grab another little bit. And I'm literally just grabbing little bits, just big enough to cover that stuff. And because, uh, like I said, this magazine has lots of blues because there's a lot of water, you know, Florida, sun, fun, stuff. The colors coordinate really well. Oh, I didn't even notice. Look at that. Do you do that? That's really cool. See this guy, he's like taking a picture in front of the statue being all like, oh, look, I'm the statue. <laughs> oh, do you guys do that? Yeah, that's fun. So I want to keep that, you know. I still want to get removed. See, this was at the bottom of the page, so I want to remove that little bit, and it won't detract from the picture too much. So, oh, check this out. I have this nice strip right here, and it will kind of blend in. So I'll just put that across the bottom. Let's see if I can thin it out even more, because I really only need to cover a very thin strip of wording. Check that out. You know what? I'm even enjoying this ripping process when you put like your nails together next to the paper and you can actually rip pretty accurately. I think dear Julie, Julie calls it fussy ripping because you are, you know, not cutting, you're ripping, but you're doing it very, very 
kind of accurately. There we go, look at that tiny, tiny strip. We'll cover, you know what, we'll just cover only the words. So this little strip here, right here, And that's a little bit thicker up there, so we'll go with this little piece right there. And now there's no more distracting words on that page. There's a little collage element. But you know, now that we have a little collage element down here, I kind of want to balance it at the top somewhere, so I don't know. Even though there's no words, if I want to put something up here, maybe right up there where it doesn't take away from the picture. Let's do that. Okay. Just like right above the statue here. And then rip. Yeah. I don't know. I think that kind of balances a little bit. I like that. That's pretty cool. All right. So this is going to, this page needs to be completely covered. Let's see if I have a, so I have this big piece here. Maybe I can just collage the whole thing. Uh, I don't know what else is up here. I have some bigger, oh, there we go. This is a bigger piece. Do I want legs? I don't want legs. This is more like it. And it's got a little bit there, but that's okay. Oh, there we go. That covers most of it, and then I can add a strip down here. So this is the washies on this side. So I'm just going to cut that off like this. Okay. All right, so I hope you're enjoying this too. I hope it's not too boring. Um, it's just kind of going through my thinking process and salvaging uh, trash, you know, because I really, one of the things I love to do, and I've done this for a long time, I mean, I think even my thrifting is part of this. It's not just getting great deals, which of course you do great, de you do get great deals when you go thrifting, but it's not only about that, but it's also about repurposing and giving new life to things that have been discarded and would otherwise because, you know, anything that doesn't sell at the thrift store will eventually get thrown out. And you're salvaging things that you can find a use for that maybe somebody else wouldn't, you know. And um, you are uh, giving it a new life. You are con not contributing to the, you know, trash heaps. But you are salvaging, literally rescuing things from being... Um, you know, put in a dumpster or what do you call it? A, ah, what do you call those places where the trash goes? <laughs> yeah, not enough coffee yet, guys. Sorry. <laughs> okay, there you go. See, look at that. That whole page transformed. Okay, covered up all that writing. And now it's a nice base for like, like I said, I'm probably going to use this for ATCs. But that page I'll probably leave because I, I just like that image. Same thing here. Let's see. I have another big strip right here that I had. What was I going to do? I was going to use this, but I didn't. And as cute as those that couple is, I, I think I just want to use this empty space up here. So just covering the words. The words go down to here. So this is how I do it. You know, I go like that. I see how far I want to go. I fold it there. And then I kind of score it, if you will, and then I tear it, okay? So that already has a crease there, so I'm going to take that out. And this is as far as I'm going to go. Well, I guess I'm going to have that crease on this side. That's okay. And just remember, my goal is just to cover the writing my and there you go
So I'm so excited that I've heard, um, you know, well, you've left some comments. And you know what? If I don't answer your comment right away, I apologize because sometimes I sneak in reading my comments when I'm at work and my job now does get really busy. It's not like I can be on my phone all the time. Um, and, um, and I don't really have a break other than my lunch break. So, and a lot of times, as you know, because if you see my videos, you'll know during my lunch break, I'm usually running around uh, thrifting or, you know, running errands. Uh, I mean, sometimes now I have to go to the post office, yay, to, you know, drop off my um, things that I'm shipping and things like that. That all happens during my lunch hour. <laughs> so, um, you know, I don't have a lot of time, but I do read your comments. And if I put a little like on it I've read it and I really appreciate it and then when I get a chance later on I will promise I will reply to your comments and um, you know give you some mean meaningful conversation hopefully because <laughs> uh, I really do appreciate every one of them and um, I especially appreciate you letting me know if you are joining me in this little crazy adventure of making these magazine journals um, I've heard you guys say you like it and you're doing one and that makes me so excited because, um, you know, I have, I'm a, a teacher at heart, even though I'm not, no longer teaching in the classroom. And so for me to, um, hear that you have gotten an idea or been inspired by something I have shown you, it just makes my little heart bubble up with happiness <laughs> it makes me feel like why you know i accomplished something so i really appreciate your comments that's fun 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 for me and i really think that's what life is about besides you know discovering our path to god which i really believe that is the ultimate goal is to have a relationship with god um of course that is also done by uh sharing with each other and contributing to each other's lives okay so um yeah so i really appreciate your comments and letting me know that the little bits my little craziness my little <laughs> what i call harebrained ideas are actually helping you to have some fun and to try new things so there we go all right so i'm just going to continue this um i don't um let's see how much time do i have oh great i don't have a clock around because my oven is heating up leftovers from last night for my son to have for breakfast <laughs> that's usually what i look at for my clock is the kitchen clock I have a good view of it from my table here, but right now it just tells me that the oven is at 250 degrees. <laughs> we don't have a microwave, so we actually do our reheating of any food or whatever in our oven. It really doesn't take that long, just a few minutes. Um, does you know microwave does it in a few seconds, but I just don't like that whole idea of I don't know invisible waves. <laughs> I mean, I know that's what heat is anyway, but yeah, that's a whole nother story. I, I know, I'm weird. <laughs> so we don't, when we had a microwave, but once it broke, we decided not to replace it. Just like we had a dishwasher, or we do, we have a dishwasher, it doesn't work. And then when it broke, we decided not to replace it because we were like, you know what? We have to rinse the dishes off anyway. I mean, I don't know if we have to or not, but we do before putting it in the dishwasher. Might as well just take an extra few seconds and wash them properly. <laughs> so yeah, if something breaks around here, we don't we really think twice before replacing it. <laughs> ah, so yeah, so we wash our dishes by hand and we heat our food in the oven. <laughs> ah, yeah, we're you know one of those crazy people. All right, so I'm just gonna continue on with this. I'm not gonna keep you. Um, you know, just watching me glue random bits of paper to cover this little book. But I'll come back and I'll show you the, the final flip through after I am all done. 
So I'll probably what I'll do is I'll turn off the camera here and I'll go watch some of your videos while I do this. How about that? That's that's how I roll. <laughs> All right, so um, yeah, if you do make a video of yourself, you know, doing this, uh, let me know um, because, um, like I said, I'm, it's just at work. See, my last job I had, I was temping. Um, I actually was able to do my work and like have little videos playing on the side, and I was legitimately able to do that and do my work, you know, because I. Don't want to be neglectful of my job. At this job, I can't do that. It's just a different type of job, and I have to be all, you know, there. <laughs> so, um, you know, I'm not able to watch as many videos as I would like. So, um, it just takes me a little while to, to get to all of them. But if you tell me that you've made a video inspired by something that I've shown you, I will definitely come to look at it as soon as I can, and I'd love to do that. Um, I'd like to actually thank Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. She did that. I guess um, she got an idea from another video I did about doing those little journals out of the um, pages from the uh, Better Homes and Gardens, the ring binder cookbooks. I had made some little journals out of that. I actually gave them away during my live auction, so I don't have any to show you right now. But, um, uh, she did some in her, and she took her own spin, of course, on it, and she did a beautiful job on hers, and she mentioned it on the video, and I was so flattered, and, um, you know, that was really cool, so if, if you do that, um, let me know, because I'd really love to see it, and um, I'd love to see how, you know, you take uh, my ideas or others' ideas and, you know, put your own spin on it, because that's what we do as crafters, right? We... Uh, we put our own creative spin on whatever we do. <laughs> All right, enough rambling from me. I will let you go. I'm going to go watch some of your videos, and I hope you have a very blessed day. Bye.